in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Thank you, O oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit till your work on earth is done. Now, theologically speaking, as far as God's creation is concerned, the Holy Spirit has a ministry to creation. I hope you know that the Holy Spirit's ministry is not just to men. The Holy Spirit is the life force behind everything you see. I know that science says we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. The reverse is the case with, you know, plants and certain kinds of microorganisms and so on and so forth. Teaching men without his presence will only become a mere lecture. They will be looking at you nodding you would think they are getting it but their lives will not show according to the principle of the kingdom we never do anything till we verify that his presence is in it when you want to do business it's a risk to use common sense you wait till he arrives he is the spirit of truth the moment he arrives everything that is a lie is about to be judged spirit of God he has a ministry to unbelievers what is his ministry to believers the four levels of ministry that I just listed for you is for believers direction guidance revelation and empowerment bring the weak version of you and expose that person to the ministry of the Holy Spirit watch what happens Weak men can become strong. Timid men can become powerful. Ignorant people can become full of light. All by the ministry of this paraclete. God gave him to us and warned us. He said, I know that I want you to save the world, but tarry, tarry, tarry. Don't make the mistake of moving without him. At every point, verify if he's there. Is it not Moses that said, don't send us if your presence will not go he was talking to god so what is his presence was he not already talking to god which presence was he looking for again there's something about your presence at the advantage man of god i can tell you the secret out of the struggle in ministry is not just running around you will run from pillar to post and you will not find anything but when you find the holy spirit he can grant you direction this is the way thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk therein and you will find rest for your soul the helper the helper the helper ordinary man but when he holds you <laughs> when he holds you you will not look like it till you become it when he holds you people will even laugh and say you you want to do business i may not have any advantage but my goodness when the helper comes listen many of you have heard about my vision let me share it one time here again i had this vision when god was revealing my call and i was somewhere in a high altitude and i saw a generation of people crying and languishing and I was talking to those in front, just like an elevated position like this. And they said, no food and no water. 
and I said who is the cause for this why should the whole generation be without food and water and they pointed at me they said you are the reason I said me I can't be that wicked why would I do that to you and then I made up my mind in that vision it was like there were a few people who had chased me to that corner and I just remained there I made up my mind I said listen I'm coming to help you and if I perish I perish as soon as I opened the door there was this giant gray bearded man I know him he stretched his giant hand and he said I should bring my little hand and he held that hand and we began to walk together the spirit of the living God we began to jump one building after another and I couldn't jump so I would follow the small ladder connecting them but he would jump and sit at the other side and he's just smiling and waiting for me to arrive the spirit of the living God believe me I do not claim to know everything about the kingdom but when it has to do with the ministry of the Holy Spirit I've been given the privilege of access to know him are we together yes the Spirit of God can reveal himself to you he can reveal the word he can open your eyes to see you will see when others are looking you can see I told you in the morning that sight is not just a product of your eyes it is your eyes plus light that is equal to sight even if your eye is walking and there is no light it's still darkness for you hallelujah pray in one minute whilst you are seated and say reveal yourself to me spirit of the living God go ahead go ahead and pray reveal yourself bring to end confusion in my life Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever sing your praise. We'll see of the wonders of your work. I will see out for joy. I will see of the wonders of your work. And I will forever sing your praise. Listen, when you ignore his ministry, your life will be miserable, miserable. When I was in Zaria in 2013, I was already considering, you know, if to just expand, to go to Abuja or go anywhere and just submitting myself in prayer. And I had this vision. I saw a plane lift from Zaria going to Abuja and the name of the ministry was written on it just when it was going to land in Abuja it crashed and I knew immediately immediately that God was not in this it was not the season yet sincere people including fathers of faith veterans of the gospel they said listen it will be a wise idea to do this I respectfully honor them but I know what he said because in his voice and his leadership is your victory your help the Holy Spirit has been sent to bring discount to the cost of living for you. That your life will be unnecessarily expensive. The price you will pay for life will be unbearable if you ignore him. By 2018, he comes again and says, now is the season. I struggled with him for three years to say yes. To moving to Abuja he said let me at least go to my own state I'm not sure I'm ready I don't 
I don't want the drama of um, I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm ready it's, it's an expensive place it's an expensive life and then he began to open me up I started seeing the visions of the meetings now and the things that God is doing and he said you trust me I have walked with you all these years I remember the vision and look what God has done today now you will give the credit to ordinary men but I'm telling you that behind the extraordinary results of ordinary men is a helper the helper that guides the helper that leads is someone is, is someone you will not suffer my foot to be moved I carry your presence everywhere who am I your mind is so full of me mortal man awesome God mortal man I'm just a mortal but you are the awesome God you will not suffer my foot to be I carry your presence everywhere who am I your mind is so full of me. In another vision, I'm praying and just enjoying the presence of God. And then the Lord speaks to me and says, Son, from today I give you my presence as a gift. And in that encounter, I turn and I see this being standing close to me. He said, he will walk with you. I said, what is his name? And he said, he's called the angel of the Lord's presence. That he will walk with you. Listen, when you see ordinary men look supernatural, I told you there is nothing in us. We don't amount to much unassisted. But the glory of heaven, the spirit of grace... We stand confident because of his presence every man of God is like a bride the Spirit of God is the husband the wife is a reflection of her husband when the wife speaks and says I donate one million it is at the cost of the husband the wife will do the speaking on his behalf and then the husband will honor it so when we stand and begin to speak and things happen do you believe that that power is is no the power is not just generated it is outsourced from a dimension that is not earthly how do you begin to speak that someone will be healed that someone will be delivered and in a moment no human beings are not robots carry your presence everywhere who am I your mind is so full of me. Listen to me. Even if a man of God prays for you and imparts grace, it is not his impartation that makes it happen. It is because midwifing that man and you is that same spirit. The man is only able to impart grace because he honors the custodian. The Holy Spirit does not receive power from any other person. He is the one who owns it. We have to wait until he empowers us. Ah. Help those who begin to shout now under the anointing. I just saw fire. It's coming on many people's altar. And the Lord is saying he's opening them to new seasons of intimacy. New seasons of intimacy. Right now, I decree and declare. I decree and declare, my God, by that grace, that fire, for many of you is leading you into a deep experience. This is not just miracles. Uh -uh. This, this is an encounter. He's reintroducing himself to you. Help those under the anointing. 
Shalana mashala graska di balatu siata. Ela de sabroske di balatu siata. Listen, 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 listen. Just be sensitive. We're about to pray. My goodness. I went for rain at Bunker's Crusade in 2004. Very ordinary, unassuming man. Help them, please. I want to show you how powerful this paraclet that was given to you as a gift from God. He was not given to Pentecostals. He was not given to Charismatics. He was not given to white men or black men. He was given to all men. The Holy Spirit is a gift. God's gift to you. And I stood there in that crusade ground. Tens of thousands of people. And I watched an ordinary man. Limited in every way. But in the presence of the spirit of God. After he finished preaching. Very simple message. And when he was done. It was time to pray for the sick. And he was about to take a cup of water. And then the Lord opened my eyes. And I saw, that was the first vision of the person of the Holy Spirit I saw. A giant bird just hovering around the crusade ground. That's what I saw. Giant bird with silvery linings across the wings. Just moving. I thought everyone was seeing it. By the time that vision would be over, I had even turned to back the stage. And the Lord took me to Genesis 1 verse 2. And the Spirit of God hovered around them. That was where I got... Listen, listen, let me tell you this. I didn't just see it as a sermon. That the union of the movement of the Spirit and the spoken word is what produces the miraculous. Help that lady. Without His presence, ministry will be a burden. Without his presence, you will only be an inconvenience to people as a man of God. Invite him to your home. Invite him to your church. Invite him to your business. Invite him to your family. Invite him to your body. Hold on. Look up, please. Hear me. Your body can either be his temple or a den of robbers. You have to choose one of the two. Your body can be either of the two. Either his temple where he resides in light or it can be a den of robbers and we know the chief robber is Satan himself John 10 10 that the thief cometh not but for to steal if you ignore his ministry in your life your body becomes a den of robbers hear me part of his ministry of empowerment is to activate the various dimensions of the treasures of God hidden within you. How do you sit down and begin to prophesy and speak to someone revealing the things that would happen? No. Immortal, invisible God only one most glorious, most precious I want you to hear just because he's invisible does not mean he's unreal he's only invisible to the frame of your sight but he's ever present even here tonight even here tonight we know that he's here he is brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine. The Holy Ghost is proving. Listen, I am a student of revival. I have studied revivals across many continents by the privilege of God's grace. I have had the honor to meet a few people 
some in their lifetime still alive others before they left every one of those people became mighty because they honored him a weak woman listen a weak woman called Maria Woodward Eater. She ran away from ministry because she was too weak. She was fra fragile. What do I teach? I don't even have the, the charisma. But the Holy Ghost said, come. Don't ever say you are not enough. Let him come. He becomes a completer. What do I say? Just let him come. A man like Baba Deboye will stand with thousands and hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people, may not talk so loud, may not shout and jump because of his age and personality, but in honor to that spirit of God, he will say in the name of Jesus, let this be the last time of your tears. And you will hear people will shout Amen. And the next thing you see people return with testimonies. Don't downplay what he can do. I have good news for you. He is here. He is here because the word of God declares that where two or three are gathered in his name, he is in their midst. But he is here because he says to call upon him and he will answer. He will even show great and mighty things. For in the sanctuary, God is here. There is a anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness. Is it true that the load I'm carrying on my head can leave? Find out what he did to darkness. Do you know how difficult it is to drive darkness? Because you cannot hold it. Darkness is not like a car that you push away. How do you drive darkness? Do you blow it to go away? But when the Spirit of God arrived, darkness fled. So don't be surprised, help them please, that in one moment, you will check that pain and not find it again. Listen, listen. Let it not surprise you that while you are seated, he leaves, you see, that because he is God, he does not leave, need to live here to be where you want him to be. He can be in both places. So while he's here, he can be in your office immediately correcting something that needs to be corrected listen tonight is a miracle service and i needed to tell you this the holy spirit can help men there are many of you who are accessing power tonight not just power to run but power to soar yesterday i told you there is a certain speed that the plane must get to lift it is a risk for the plane to lift if it has not gotten to that speed. The Holy Spirit can provide that speed so that you will rise. For those who are sick in their bodies, I want you to know that the helper is here. For those who have cried and say, is there a way? Ah. He'll move your mountains. He'll cause walls to fall. With his power, he performs miracles, and there is There are those of you, what is happening is that he's coming to rest upon you like a hand upon the eggs and wisdom that he will breathe upon you you will come out and do something that will shake enugu state they will say from whence cometh this wisdom 
what dimension of wisdom did you just come with listen there are some of you who came here like strangers but you are living as prophets you came here as just prayer warriors but you are living as, as giants custodians of power in the spirit listen the biblical proof of spiritual power is when you say it and it happens for I am a man under authority having men under me I say to one go and he goeth I say to one come and he cometh and God said and there was and what he said that manifested he saw it and it was good he can turn the weak to become strong he can change SS to AA he can turn a woman's I I'm saying this so that take your eyes away from the darkness and look at him help them please help them I'm about to pray now you see for as long as you are focused on the darkness you will not be able to see his glory I am a product of his grace I am a product of the healing power of God it's not just that he uses me to bring it I am a beneficiary I know what it means to be plagued by sicknesses and infirmities I have seen firsthand the power of God I don't just say he heals because I read it in the Bible alone my life is a testament I am a living epistle I have been oppressed by demon spirits I know what it means to minister as a man of God not an unbeliever and yet still be oppressed but I also know the taste of victory you can taste and see not just hear and assume you can taste there is an experience to his ministry listen when we begin to pray I like for your heart to be opened because there are many of you you may not be sick in your body but hear me for the sake of those who are connected to you there are graces you must receive this night If God has called you to bring a certain kind of revival in any good state don't sit down assuming it will happen by what the Bible says say unto God how terrible art thou in thy ways it is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves to you it's time to speak to certain forces in Enugu to say and it happens it's time to open certain doors even ancient doors that close the destinies of men the messianic prophecy Isaiah 61 it says the spirit of the Lord ah, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek to bind up the brokenhearted to comfort those who mourn he had sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison have you ever seen a man in a spiritual prison there are people who are in the correctional centers they are limited that is an adumbration of what happens to a man in a spiritual prison just because you are moving physically does not mean you are free there are prison doors that need to be opened tonight atmosphere Shift now, chains be broken. I will pray for you, but the person I'm seeing in my vision is wearing white, not just yellow. The person I'm seeing in my vision is wearing white. Kalis Kabera Subara Hashade Belekato Siata and Grakato Shalagatos Kavina Hashiba. Someone in one minute, wherever you are, I want you to open your mouth and everything you know that must leave your life tonight insist no negotiation, it must go outside, inside, pray. The helper has come. 
Everything that needs to leave must leave because the helper has come. Having obtained help from God, I continue. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray. I'm going to lay my hands on this gentleman and is this the gentleman I spoke no I'm not sure one that I spoke about in the morning in the name of Jesus where is he let him come and stand I'm going to pray now father I pray in Jesus name may your power rest upon this gentleman let it be a new season of grace for them in the name of Jesus Christ this is the man I spoke to in the morning what do you do you're a businessman I want to pray for you that's the call of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ more than the business you are doing may the grace of God rest on you my dear look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands and I speak even over your family Shani Sanakusia I'm seeing a chain around your hand in the name that is above all names right now I decree as is happening to her I pray over someone the chain that has tied down the productivity of every family every destiny in the name of Jesus the son of the living God may that be loose right now be loose right now be loose right now be loose right now and for this gentleman I pray for you may the Lord show you mercy in the name of Jesus Uzo Chuku Uzo Chuku Uzo Chuku Palaske Shani Shelaku. Who is that? Uzo Chuku. What does that mean? God's way. Who is Uzo Chuku? Huh? Her brother. You too. Where is he? This person, your brother, he's not here. He's in the overflow. Is that true? It's country outside the country no i'm saying the person i'm seeing is in an overflow uzochuku there is an uzochuku outside that's i'm not saying is there someone like that i'm going to pray for you but the one i'm seeing you are in an overflow if you find him let him run his salvation has come what please verify what's your name Uzochuku, I will don't worry, don't feel embarrassed that you're not. I will pray for you. What he says to one, he says to all. My friend, look at me. I'm hearing the sound of a baby. Please listen. I'm hearing the sound like the cry of a baby. This is a family that has been trusting God. They have prayed, they have prayed, they have prayed, they have prayed. I don't know where that family is, but the power of God is touching someone right now. I hope you believe what God is doing. I'm still hearing the cry of a baby. Lord, I don't know what family this is, but in the name of Jesus, help has come for you. Help has come for you by the Spirit of God. Huh? No, no, you don't you don't have to come out I'm going to pray for you but what mama you are standing for yourself your daughter okay where is she your daughter-in-law is here yes trusting God for the fruit of the womb yes how long for one year plus mama what of you uh, five years another one is four years two of my school don't worry you don't have to come out I can imagine that there are several people just wherever you are God is going to touch you we're going to pray for the sick now I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus you are the Uzo Chukus from overflow in the name of Jesus father I am praying right now that everything that represents captivity in the name of Jesus right now for the Uzo Chukus I curse it by the power of God I release you right now go and experience the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ 
they don't have to um please except we ask them to come if not we'll make the place rowdy but since they are there their mothers mama i pray for you where eh? in the name of jesus christ the lord will wipe your tears he will give your children miracles even by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ please let them go i want to pray for the sick right now but how many of you believe you actually can be free from demons put your hand down how many of you believe your family can be free i hope you know that you are not really free until that salvation gets to your family hallelujah i truly believe in the liberty of the saints that the power of god is able to set people free with proof and results agnes 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 like a g n e s agnes i just heard that name i'm going to pray for the sick right now but i'll minister deliverance why do i minister the power of god to set people free because in every gathering i tell you there are people who they may be laughing and singing and dancing but it's everyone that knows where the shoe is hurting there are people as they are standing here they are saying lord i didn't come for this conference to waste my time visit me and give my family a testimony There's somebody who sells cement. Cement. I just saw bags of cement. It's like a business that you do. You sell cement. Why is she here? Agnes, is your name? Where are you from, my dear? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I decree and declare that everything that is not of God, your Agnes too. Don't cry, don't cry. The Lord is giving you a new song in the name of Jesus, a new song. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. He says, many will see and fear and put their trust in him. This is what happens when the Holy Spirit is there. Let it be a new season by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it be a new season in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them in the name of Jesus Christ. Why, why is he just on shots? Is that how he came? Is that how he came? In the name of Jesus Christ. Just cover the cloth somewhere. In the mighty name of Jesus. I minister deliverance right now. Now I'm about to pray. Listen. Spirits don't just rest upon men. Spirits can rest upon conditions and situations. When a spirit is upon a situation, it will act unusually. For instance, a financial situation, a spirit can come upon it. It's not only men spirits possess. They can possess conditions economic conditions marital conditions any kind of condition so in administering the power of god in the presence of the holy spirit is not only from men we are exiting the spirits we are also exiting them from conditions when you are supposed to get a job and everything is there and someone promises you and you will never get the job there is a spirit in that condition are we together can I pray for you now? As I speak, I know that here is limited. Please don't inconvenience those who are in front. But I'm going to request that you bring those under the anointing out as I minister to them. It's time for their liberty. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. Don't get used to it. I know you've shouted it many times. We don't shout it as a ritual. But listen, let me tell you the truth. I'm seeing a sword. What looks like a knife, a sword, is piercing into people and situations and families. That sword represents the word of God. At the count of three, everything that does not name the name of Christ, as you shout the name that is above every other name, 
it must give way whether you are outside all of the overflows or anywhere it's time for you to be free those of you in front here i declare your liberty so that you clear the way in the name of jesus be completely healed right now in jesus name and may the lord visit you everything that represents a limitation in your life say amen i curse it right now it must let you go right now in jesus name now let's pray father the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of jacob will possess their possession there are people there are families there are individuals who have been tied down there are destinies that will not lift up their heads right now in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire that proceeds from his throne that brings deliverance please whether you are an usher or not anybody who is under the anointing please help to bring them out right now at the count of three one my goodness two three shout jesus i command liberty 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 by the spirit of the living god i decree and i prophesy liberty 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 that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified in the name of jesus we are still going to shout that name my goodness bring them out i'm seeing fire falling lord every family here that needs to be free from age-long captivities as you are shouting that fire will rest upon every altar one two three shout jesus every family tied down by demonic orchestrations we bring you liberty we bring you liberty we bring you liberty this man that man wearing suit come this man yes please bring them out something is happening what do you do sir huh? <laughs> i work with the efc you work with efcc i'm going to pray for you i saw you climbing a ladder in the realm of the spirit and every time god shows me that that is a sign of increase and lifting can i pray for you sir in the name of jesus i decree and declare over you please hear me write this between now and november god is going to shift you in a way that will surprise you i release that grace upon you right now in the name of jesus christ let it be a new season for you by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit the spirit of delay ah 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 that anointing is coming right now as i mentioned the cases is leaving you right now delay 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 i cost you i cost you i cost you delay of any kind my goodness i just i hope they are not injuring themselves hallelujah the overflow here what's it called the tent is this the tent the of the smaller tent i want you to lift your hands those in that tent please lift up your hands those in that tent i'm seeing the power of god fall on people there at the count of three in that tent i want you to shout jesus and i want you to bring out those under the anointing you don't have to bring them in here father you reveal to me to pray for those at that tent i decree and declare right now the tent there one two three shout jesus liberty even by the spirit liberty 
now please hear me the lord is revealing to me there are people here anything given to you you will lose it whether it is relationships when good things come into your life they don't last i want to pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that has left you that should not have left you i call upon my god let it be restored now let it be restored now let it be restored now be restored now be restored now, be restored now. Be restored now. I want to pray for the sick but the Lord is already revealing to me to impart some graces there are three anointings that God is revealing number one is the spirit of prophetic revelation and I'm, I'm going to pray and that anointing is resting on some people male and female not everyone but there are specific people you have been walking with God access to us father i don't know where they are inside and outside you have that call and that mandate i prophesy now at the count of three may that fire come upon you prophetic revelation one two three take that grace now take that grace now help this woman take that grace now take that grace now prophetic revelation I bring you, I call you by prophecy into that dimension, the eyes that see and the ears that hear. Prophetic revelation so that you will bring the precepts of God with accuracy and with precision. Hear me. Although we are here in Enugu, the truth about it is that there are people your destiny is not in this city you have been around this city but your the geography of your assignment is in another region not here some of you even outside this region i prophesy to you anywhere you need to be to fulfill purpose right now whether ministerially financially maritally receive that grace right now I relocate you to the place of destiny. I relocate you to the geography of your witness. The spirit of untimely death. The spirit of untimely death. The Lord is showing me patterns. Every year, someone must die. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every three, three years, someone must die. I want to judge that altar by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, every manifestation of untimely death over your life and over your family, it is judged right now in Jesus' name. It is judged right now in Jesus' name. I'm ready to pray for the sick now. No one, Jesus, there is no one. Darling, there is no one, Jesus, there is no There is no one else. 
like that in for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.